have a seat. Leave us. Jesus of Nazareth. We finally meet. Here I am. I thought you'd be sort of taller, crazier looking. Ah. Wild hair and animal skins. Glad I could disappoint you. The first story I ever heard about you. I didn't believe it. That's usually how it goes. It wasn't about religion or preaching or God. It was about fish. Ah, another common theme. It was an impossibly huge catch, Atticus. It settled the largest debt in Capernaum's ledger. Uh, did, did you meet Atticus? He's Cohorte's urban name. They're like Caesar's personal detectives, mostly in Rome, but uh, they go wherever. He's especially interested in you. Have you ever visited the Far East, Jesus? I have received visitors from there, but uh, never been there myself. They eat their fish raw. Peel off the scales, cut off the heads and tails, and take a bite. It's quite something. They eat the flesh and spit out the bones. Of course. If Simon had not settled his debt, that could have resulted in my demotion. That was flesh. You create a public disruption that results in damage to property, a stampede, and a blight on my personal reputation. Hmm. Bones. You seduced the single most brilliant and effective tax collector in the entire Upper Galilee. Also, bones. And now, the most tenured cohortis urbani in the history of the Roman Empire tells me he personally witnessed you disarm a zealot Sicarii. Well, that's flesh. That's flesh. Sorry to have caused so much confusion for you over flesh and bone. Confusion? No. <laughs> no. If your race weren't so repugnant and odious, I'd offer you a job. I cannot take that as a compliment. Jesus, this whole thing is very simple. You seem to be splitting your time between creating headaches for Rome and victories we could not achieve ourselves. That's a little reductive. You've doubled your following since leaving Capernaum. Then again, you returned a violent man who had been terrorizing Jericho to his senses. But word of your miracles, or whatever, has spread all through Syria, and they start coming over here. Do you see my problem? I don't know whether to eat you or spit you out, to stick to the fish metaphor. But we're probably past that now. I'm saying I don't know what to make of you. That's going to be a lot of people's problem with me. No more bones, Jesus. Follow me. No more draining my talent pool, creating spectacles, crowds. No more meddling. Hmm? I cannot promise any of these things. Then I cannot promise you won't stop breathing. Well, it sounds like we're clear on what we can and cannot promise. <laughs> Sleep. Go, Jesus of Nazareth, I like you. We're on the same team. Just don't make me kill you. I won't make you do anything. But my father, on the other hand. I don't know what that means, but let's leave on a high note. I, I think we have an understanding here. You're free to go.